Hey Capricorn, this is going to be a weekly general love reading just to see what's going on this upcoming week or in this month of September for love for you. Okay, so I'm channeling a lot of messages, Capricorn. <clears throat> there could be a Libra or somebody with Libra placements or Sagittarius placements. I also have Gemini coming up. This person could really feel deeply in love with you, okay? I know you guys are sick of hearing about this person, but this person is from your past, but I'm saying that you provided this person a love that was so safe and nurturing that they, they can't help but feel this love for you, okay? Even though this person didn't accept your love, you gave this person a love they never experienced. Some of you know that a Capricorn's superpower, like one of their secret powers, are their heart. A lot of people aren't, you know, a lot of people aren't used to that. A lot of people don't know that a Capricorn's heart is its big weapon. But if you if you cross a Capricorn over, you know, they can show that same coldness just as they can show that warmth. But this person did not expect to fall deeply in love with you. Here, let me turn this down. Hold on, Capricorn. Yeah, somebody feels like you open them up to love, okay? This is somebody that refused to play that role. They refused to get deep. But I'm hearing that you guys went deep with each other. Now somebody wants to talk to you. They want to talk to you. Okay, but they're they're in the process of building up their confidence. This could be somebody you're not talking to. They're just pretty much insecure at this time. They don't know how to come towards you. Because they feel like you don't trust them. Somebody feels like you don't trust them, Capricorn. But they also feel like the love that you showed them has really changed them. Like that it's impacted their life. Okay? Whether you care or not, don't beat me up in the comments, Capricorn. But somebody feels like you are so spiritual, so intuitive, okay, that you can just see them. And a lot of you are very spiritual, very intuitive. So you use your gifts to basically make, you use your gift to discern some sort of um, situation. Whereas though, like... You trusted your intuition to guide you and you saw something for what it was. And this person is baffled, okay? I'm hearing this person was a player. This is somebody who everybody, like women can say different things about this person, okay? But for some reason, when it comes to you, you see this person for who they are. They can't, they can't finesse you. Yeah, this person feels like they want to tell you what's in their heart, okay? They want to tell you they fell deep in love with you. They want to tell you that you changed their life. Yeah, and this person's mad. They're mad that you're, they don't have access to you. 555 five, five, Capricorn. But this is somebody that did not learn a lesson. There was a lesson Spirit was trying to show this person and they didn't learn it. So let's go ahead and get into this message. Yeah. For some of you, this is somebody you used to share a psychic connection with, a very strong psychic connection with. But again, you closed yourself off to this person. You started paying attention to your responsibilities and you decided to let this person go. For some of you, you could have been married to this person. But for others of you, you know, this person could have been married. And I'm saying they're leaving a connection that they were in because they feel like they don't love the person they're with. They're just with this person because they share responsibilities. But somebody feels unexplainedly attracted to you. They feel like this is an unexpected connection between you two. You guys are opposites, but somehow you attracted each other. So let's go ahead and see if what comes out. Let's see what comes out for Capricorn. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node in Capricorn. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Capricorn. Remember to take what resonates and leave the rest. If this is not your message, it's okay. You can come back another time and we may have a message for you. This will be past, present, future energy. So please use your discernment and place yourself where you see fit, Capricorn, okay? All right, let's see. What is going on with Capricorn, Spirit? When it comes to love. When it comes to love for Capricorn. September. Okay. What is this healing connection in reverse? What else? 
healing connection in reverse unexpected connection let go of the past okay capricorn so there's a connection that was in your life that was very detrimental very painful for uh painful to you in the past this connection did cause a lot of healing but i'm getting that there was a third party involved so this person in your energy is deciding to detach from a third party energy. Um, they may even consider once they detach from this third party that they're going to reach out to you and have that heart to heart conversation. For some of you, this person could even be asking you to go out with them, go on a vacation. All right. Yeah, this person, this person doesn't have anything to give, though, is what I'm seeing. But this person does have a burning desire for you. Yeah, this person has a burning desire for you. And they want to show you how they feel about you. Healing connection in reverse. Hmm. What I'm seeing with learn at the bottom of the deck, I don't think somebody learned a lesson, okay? This is what I'm feeling. That this person has to continue to heal. Like, there's something still off about this situation. Let me go ahead and dive in. What is this about, Capricorn Spirit? True love in reverse. Okay. So somebody could have turned down a, a healing connection with you and they missed an opportunity here with true love because they did that. What is unexpected connection? Yeah, somebody went after somebody completely different than you. Okay, this person chose somebody sexual, somebody they could have sex with. Somebody made a choice based off of sex. And now this person is facing obstacles. It says, look for ways around the obstacles to find happiness. Yeah. And Capricorn, if this is you, make sure you're not getting into connections because of sex only. If that's what you are looking for, that's what you're looking for. But don't let this person close you off to love based off the past, okay? Let's see. Let go of the past. Let go of the past. What is let go of the past? What is let go of the past for Capricorn spirit? Okay, so let go of the past. Yeah, there was a past life connection that is being released right now. And Spirit is asking you to let go of the past. Let's see, what else for Capricorn? Yeah, Spirit wants you to be open because you do have divine guidance trying to show you something. Like, there is divine guidance trying to show you something about an intense connection that is coming into your life, but spirit wants you to recognize it when it comes. Okay. Spirit wants you to be open to it and don't let the past, you know, keep you from having what you're meant to have. Let's see. Yeah. A lot of you guys are going through an ascension Capricorn. You're going through an ascension. Like you're mentally ascending, you're spiritually ascending, you're physically ascending. Or somebody in your energy could be ascending. What is this true love and healing connection in reverse? Yeah, somebody seeing you for who they are, for who you are, Capricorn. A gift, okay? A gift from God. Hmm. Yeah, somebody has a lot of conflict, a lot of inner conflict because they missed out on true love. They missed out on a healing connection with you. This is somebody in your past. Yeah, because they chose a Queen of Wands over you, a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. But Zodiac signs doesn't matter. But this person made a wrong choice. They chose somebody because of sex. Somebody chose somebody that was nasty and freaky. Even though you were freaky, Capricorn, this person wanted somebody just toxic. Three of Wands in reverse. Yeah, this person didn't want to put in the work and change, okay? They didn't want to worry about their future. They wanted to focus on the now, and they didn't want to change. So Spirit said, okay, then I'm going to close out this cycle. And since Capricorn is working so hard, I'm going to give Capricorn a transformation. I'm going to change Capricorn, okay? So now Spirit is saying, you don't have to work hard, Capricorn. You're getting all these new choices when it comes to your finances coming in you're getting new opportunities you're getting um some of you could be starting a new job or you could be just getting promoted or 
whatever, your finances are definitely looking good because you are getting something from the fact that you lost something. All right, so what is this unexpected connection and obstacle spirit? Thank you. So yeah, this person went towards a connection based off of sex and now they have nothing but obstacles. And now this person feels stuck where they are, okay? They see you moving forward. They see you abandoning them and letting them go. But somebody feels like they don't understand why you don't want to keep, like, stay open to them. They don't understand why you're letting them go. They don't, stand, they don't understand why you're walking away. But a lot of you are. You're letting go of the past, okay? And you're opening yourself up for something better to come in. What is this openness and let go of the past for Capricorn? Yeah, you're letting go of the past because you feel like somebody isn't willing to learn a lesson. Like, they just won't change. So you guys are focusing on you and you're focusing on healing. You only want healing connections. Four of Wands in Reverse. Yeah, this person didn't want to learn a lesson, so they decided to heal something with a toxic lover that they were involved with because somebody was nasty. They they were selfish, self-centered, impulsive, abusive, and nasty. They didn't have any self-control, okay? Yeah, and now your guard is up against this person, Capricorn. What is this third party in reverse and intense in reverse? Yeah, this person is letting go of a Queen of Pentacles, a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn energy. This person is letting this person go because they feel like whoever they went towards, this person was just looking for a handout. Okay, they went towards a gold digger, somebody that was very mean spirited and just codependent on their finances. What else? But the Seven of Cups, this person is starting to see something for what it is, okay? They're no longer stuck in a fantasy. With the Two of Cups in reverse, this person is disconnecting from this person is disconnecting from this uh, Queen of Pentacles, and now they're ready to outpour, like their heart is open for you. Now this person is starting to feel intense feelings about you. They're starting to realize they have something good in you, Capricorn. But a lot of you guys could be married or you could be getting married or if you're not, you could be about to meet the person you're going to marry. And this person knows it. This person knows that you're moving on to new love. Yeah. This person knows that you're spending time by yourself and you're working on things like you're working hard to get your ten of cups. You're focused right now. Yeah. And this person didn't trust their intuition. They knew that you were wish fulfillment, but they didn't trust their intuition, okay? They had some unhealed child wounds. So they thought it would be better to be to deceive you, to betray you. Yeah, but they missed out on a blessing because they did that. Because you've let them go. And in the process, you've let go of some generational curses or some sort of uh, codependency issues or something that was keeping you stuck to this person. You've let it go. All right. What is this, Latoya? Like it? Yeah, somebody feels torn, Capricorn. They feel torn because they want to, like, they're blaming their self, but like they're also blaming you. Like somebody's stuck in between. But yeah. And then for some of you, Capricorns, this could be your energy. This song. Some of you could be in a situation where you're not sure if you should walk away from it or stay in it. You could be torn between a decision. Yeah, this person was under some sort of black magic or somebody could have did black magic to try to break up the connection that you two shared. And Spirit is saying, beware of anyone from your past wanting to enter back into your life, Capricorn. Okay? This person could be trying to come back to keep you from finding true love. Keep you from finding, you know, a healing connection. Yeah, somebody is jealous. They're jealous. They may know you have somebody and they're jealous. 
Okay, this is a scorned lover. It says an old fling of your current or your recent ex-partner still feels deep pain of rejection and betrayal. I don't know why I keep hearing Scorpio. Some of you could have been dealing with a Scorpio. Yeah, but Spirit is saying you're focused on yourself right now. You, you are definitely taking care of yourself. You're spending money on yourself. You're nurturing yourself and you're building yourself up. You're focused on your independence right now. You're just, you're just being your authentic self. And there is a soulmate coming into your life. A divine partnership. Now that you've changed and completely detached from something and let it go. All right. And there is somebody heartbroken. Somebody's upset about it. So let's go ahead and see. Let's get some of these for our evil eye oracle. What is someone is doing black magic and juju on you in reverse? What is this? Yeah, this person is disappointed because their black magic, their um, chaos magic, whatever this is, it's not working. They're in regret and they're sad about it. It didn't work. And somebody's sad. They're disappointed. Why is secretly jealous and hating on your romantic relation coming out, spirit? Like I said, somebody somebody has news or they know what you bring to the table. This person knows that you're making plans for your future and things are going to work out for you. This person knows your potential and somebody knows that you are going to be getting going into union with someone else, a partnership. There's a new romance coming in your life and somebody knows it. Yeah, this person knows you have the wheel of fortune. Some of you are destined to have a, a soulmate, to be with a soulmate. Some of you can meet this person at work or a new job that you're going to get or you can meet this person out too. So take it how it resonates, Capricorn. But you're definitely um, in a turning point in your life. There is change about to come in. Okay, what is this scorned love? What's this scorned love here for Capricorn? Scorned love. Yeah, you have clarity about this already. You have the truth about this. Oh, Queen of Cups in reverse and the Knight of Cups. So, mm, so this King of Pentacles is ending something and abandoning a Queen of Cups. They're leaving out of a connection with this Queen of Cups. They feel like this person is smothering them. They're nasty. They're selfish. And this person is just... A heartbreaker okay this knight of cups cancer scorpio pisces this person is just trying to come in to cause some stuff because they made the wrong choice and now they see you moving on and you've rejected them now they're trying to come and mess up something that you built for yourself okay but you do have clarity about this already yeah you do what is ace of swords Yeah, this person is trying to trick you or create some sort of illusions. So you will make the wrong choice, I'm hearing. Yeah, this person is disappointed. They're not growing. They're not growing with this Empress in reverse. This Taurus or Libra energy. They're not growing. So now somebody wants to heal something with you. But Spirit is saying this person is immature, Capricorn. So yeah. Let's see what's going on with this new love. What's going on with this new love coming for Capricorn? What about this new love for Capricorn? What can you tell me about new love for Capricorn? Okay, so for some of you, this is going to be a friend. You guys are going to become friends. Yeah, but you're going to have to be logical when this person comes in. To not miss an opportunity with this person. Because you're stagnant or stuck somewhere else. Somewhere where there's no passion. Yeah, because you're afraid of change. So make sure when this person comes in that you're not indecisive or you're not afraid to be open for it, okay? Make sure you let go of the past. Yeah, look, let go. Make sure you've let go of the past and you're open. What else about this new person? Yeah, because this person is going to require you to be healed. Or it's going to be a healing connection that's going to be important to you. Some of you may need to heal some issues with your father. But I'm seeing with the with the strength card, you guys are strong enough to overcome whatever this is, okay? 
stay focused and be brave when it comes to love because you do have a king of wands showing up here somebody that is going to okay so you are in this king of wands you're very you're a natural leader you're very loyal you're very positive and now you're making decisions to walk away from people who have hurt you who have caused trauma in your life who have been dishonest controlling yeah you're 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 letting them go and you're deciding to heal and this is what's bringing this new love into your life capricorn so yeah that has been your reading capricorn i do hope it resonated um just keep focusing on you and doing what you're doing even if it makes people jealous okay make sure that you're open when love comes around because i'm saying that you are in the process of letting go of the past so just continue to do that because there is something good coming Alrighty, Capricorn, I will talk to you guys later. Bye.